This is the fourth in the series of press briefings hosted by the Minister of Information and National Orientation, featuring several ministers giving account of their activities. It is part of the coordinates of this ministry to ensure that uh, we give you information that is accurate, that is honest, that is credible, and that is also verifiable. Here, the Minister of Power alongside the Vice Chairman of the Nigeria Electricity Regulatory Commission, provide further details on the recent increase in tariff for Band A customers, as well as other issues plaguing the sector. First, he explains the new tariff only affects 15% of consumers. The minister says out of 1,000 feeders on the Band A category, only 481 can provide up to 20 hours of power. The ministry has now mandated the regulatory body to downgrade the rest to other categories. The band A feeders that we have is over 1,000. Then we look at them, we examine them. Which among these can provide 20 hours of light? I will downgrade it over 500. It's only 450, 481 feeders that are currently classified as band A. These are the feeders that are good enough, in very good condition to provide stable, uninterrupted power. The Minister of Power points out that the government will still spend 2.9 trillion naira on electricity subsidy in 2024. This is more than 10% of the national budget. He says the federal government can no longer afford this. This review, tariff review, is in conformity with our policy trust of maintaining a subsidized pricing regime in the short run or in the short time with a transition plan to achieving a full cost reflective tariff for the sector over say a period of three years. For January alone, the Nigeria Electricity Regulatory Commission says the federal government subsidized 90% of electricity generation cost while emphasizing that 85% of consumers are not affected by the new tariff increase. Now, with the review, that means that about 50% of the generation cost will now still be subsidized by the government. Okay? So, what that tells you, 50 minus, I mean, 50 minus 50, tells you that there is a reduction of about 40% by in the rate to the elites in particular. That means that 50% of Nigerian customers account for 40% subsidy on the generation cost. On the 200 million Naira fine issued to the Abuja Electricity Distribution Company for violating the new tariff order, the regulatory body says the fine will go to the Rural Electrification Fund and the customers affected refunded. And now we like to appeal to Nigerians that have been affected. Please keep your facts. Keep your facts. If by chance any diesel, and if your diesel does not refund you, please contact now. They have all until next week, Thursday, to refund the customers that have been wrongly ill. Providing an update on the Siemens project, the Minister of Power announced that as a result of the accelerated agreement signed in December 2023 between Nigeria, the German government and Siemens, 10 power transformers and 10 mobile substations have arrived in Nigeria. The minister submits that addressing issues affecting the power sector means tackling the liquidity and pricing issues, bridging the infrastructure deficit, as well as curbing the vandalization of gas and power infrastructures. He also cautions consumers on prudent power consumption. Georgina Ndukwe Zainka, Arise News.